Hey guys, Doc. Uh, let me explain how I'm gonna do this video because I gotta slow down. I gotta try and fit two hours worth of content into just a few minutes and it's gonna be really hard. I'm not looking forward to doing this video because it's gonna be real tough for me. Let me explain, yes, I was an Apple Watch hater and now I'm an absolute lover. This thing has to be on my wrist every single day. If I forget about it, I go back upstairs to the bathroom or wherever it is and get it, put it on. I'll explain that. Next, I'll explain how it works a little bit. In other words, do you need a new phone number? Does it, you have to have your phone? I'll explain that a little bit. I'll explain a little bit about the models and the size of the face and size of the wristband. I'll explain a little bit about some of the features that I think are really cool. And I'll explain also who I think should have one of these because I think it's really important. The dynamic on these are changing completely where it used to be, you know, uh, Gen Z type thing or just millennials are gonna go ahead and buy these things. I'm telling you, older generation needs one of these apple watches so here we go so i'm doing some painting work over here my hands are covered with paint and stain and my phone starts buzzing in my pocket what do i do i don't have to worry about it i just flip it over and i look at what the message is or if it's a phone call i'm up in the loft of the barn my phone's in my utv and it i hear it ringing i don't have to worry about it or my actually my wrist would actually ring i just look and see who it is text phone call doesn't matter answer this was one of those momentous occasions to me i was way up in the garden over here my utv was parked over here my phone is in my utv as always that's one of the rules we have here my hear my phone ringing hear my phone ringing i gotta go run all the way out of the garden come all the way around pick it up and it's a spam call it drives me nuts if i have my watch on i just look at it and i can just ignore it it'll even say spam risk on it if you've got that installed on it the other day i was up on a ladder john and i were out here i was up on a ladder with a chainsaw cutting that tree all of a sudden, and I'm expecting a delivery, I hear a phone ringing, my wrist goes off, all I gotta do is just look at it. Nope, it's not the one I want. I don't have to worry about it. Again, I don't have to get down, put everything down, go over, get my phone, reach in my pocket, fall off the ladder, problem solved. So here's a perfect application if you're an outdoors person, hiker, hunting, fishing. I'm deep in these woods, we have 40 acres back here. And it's real easy, even on 40 acres, if you've never been out in the woods before, it's real easy, especially when it starts to get dark, to get turned around and get lost. All I have to do, I don't know if I can show this, is I'm just gonna go on here, I'm gonna hit my, I'm gonna hit my compass, and I have waypoints on there already set, but it automatically shows me where my parked car is. So if you're a big shopper, all I have to do is touch, all I have to do is just select my parked car, and it's gonna show me on my compass exactly which way to head see how that little blue dot is spinning there it's going to show me where how where to head for that parked car so that parked car is that way and just like your phone you can pull it up and say hey siri set an alarm for 2 30 p.m alarm is set for 2 30 p.m so one quick note also if you have this tied into your truck on directions and you're following a route if you are coming up on a left turn, I think it is, it goes, boop, 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 it'll buzz you twice. If you're supposed to turn right, it'll go, boop, 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 boop. actually will notify you so that if you're not paying attention to the directions or have your volume down, it'll actually tell you which way to turn. Want to know how many steps you've taken in a day? This thing is extremely accurate. It'll tell you how many steps you've taken, how many flights of stairs you've, you've climbed. It'll tell you how many calories you burn. It's extremely accurate. Want to know what your resting heart rate is? It'll tell you. Want to know what your blood oxygen level is? It'll tell you. You want to take an EKG, or actually they call it an ECG? It'll actually measure and check for arrhythmia, heart arrhythmia. This thing truly is amazing. There are so many features. I swear it would take me two hours to go over this, and I'm just telling you, you're going to have to watch, sit down and watch some videos to learn this thing. But the nice thing about this is, is that everything, you don't have to do all these settings on your watch. There's an app on your phone, and the app on your phone, you actually go in there and you control all the features on your phone. You don't have to do it on your watch. That's what's nice about it. So let's talk about how it works how you buy it, and some of the little notes I've noticed. All right, so what I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm not gonna try and cover everything. I'm gonna hit some important notes, questions that I had when I bought it. Number one, when you order this thing, I'm gonna create a page in the description below. I'm gonna create a page, and on that, I'm gonna link to this exact watch. This is a 41 millimeter wide face. They also make a 45 millimeter. Then they also make the Ultra, which looks like a laptop. I'm not buying that. I wanted a watch that looked like a watch. This is a 41 millimeter. I'll also link to, it comes with a strap, and I'll cover the strap here in a second, but 
you do not, if you buy the one I'm talking about, it's a GPS and cellular phone. So all you have to do while you're going through the setup process, it'll ask you, you log into your online to your uh, cell phone package, and it costs, for me, for AT&T, it's $10 a month. It adds this, not with a new number, it works off your current number, and it's a cell phone, basically. I can leave this, I can leave my cell phone, and a lot of times I do, I'll leave it in my truck, I'll leave it in the house, I don't have it with me, I'll leave it in my UTV, I'll go off and do something, but I'm always in contact. If someone has to get a hold of me, they can get a hold of me. If I have an emergency, I can do something about it. If I fall and break a hip and I'm sitting in the middle of the woods, I can push and hold this side button and there's an SOS. The SOS can either call 911 or call my emergency contacts or do both. So it'll act, the one I'm talking about, it's a GPS and cellular Series 9. Now the Series 9 is the latest version and it has a real high power chip inside of it. So for things like Siri and that kind of stuff, normally you have to have a, a internet connection or whatever. No, this one's so smart and so powerful, you don't need that. It actually does it on all by itself. One of the great features about this is the double tap. And let me explain the double tap feature before we do anything else. Double tap. If I'm getting a phone call, my hands are covered with dirt, paint, I'm cooking, whatever. I just turn over my wrist, it'll show me who's calling, and all I have to do to answer is just pinch. Double tap with these two fingers. Got it? Tap, tap. That's all I got to do. You can actually use three fingers. Tap, tap. And it'll actually answer that phone call. It knows there's a there's a, a patented technology that it can feel those muscles working, and it knows. When I'm done, tap, tap and I'm done talking, that's it. Uh, same thing, it, you can set the double tap to do different things, but the main thing I like about it is the phone call feature. If I'm up on one hand on a ladder or I'm doing something and I'm busy, I could just turn it over. I'm out on a pond fishing. The other day I was out on the pond fishing. My UPS driver came, I mean my Lowe's driver came an hour early and I'm out there fishing and all of a sudden my, my wrist starts buzzing because I have it on silent mode and I look at it and I know it's his number. So tap, tap and I'm talking to him, fishing rod in one hand and I'm talking to him. Okay, I'll meet you up at the back gate and then tap, tap and ends the phone call. It's so cool. Here's another thing I like about it. I don't always look at my text as an example. Uh, I keep it on silent mode and I feel on my wrist, I feel boof, boof, I feel a little double be, double buzz. If it's my family group, no offense to my family group, but I'll look at it and I see it's my family group. And I know it's something like, you know, pictures of the grandkids or my wife sending something stupid, you know, whatever. It's not an emergency. And so I don't even bother looking at that text until later on. But if there is something important, I look at it and I can just touch it or I can double tap it and I can pick up that text, that phone call, whatever I need. That is a fantastic feature. But I never, I don't always have my phone with me. And here's an important point. If you're in business, if you own a business, if you're in sales, if you make money, if you have income that's related to this in any way, if you're a plumber, if you're a tree cutter, I don't care what you do, if you're a lawn cutter, power washer, uh, I'm up in the fields, I'm cutting the fields, and I can feel my wrist vibrate even over the noise, and I look at it, I shut down my UTV, and guess what, it's my wife calling me, what do you want, you know, what's, what's wrong, or whatever, boom. The other thing that I like about this, anyways, I was gonna say about business is, if I call a plumber, and I go to voicemail, I'm calling the next plumber. You need to be able to take that call immediately, and that's what this does. If you're a plumber, as an example, or electrician, and you're in a crawl space, and all of a sudden you feel your wrist buzzing, you just turn it over, and you can say to the person, hey, uh, give me a, just answer your phone call and say, hey, no problem. If you don't mind, text me your name and address. I'll call you back in about 10 minutes. I'm actually up under a house. You'll never miss another phone call. Something that annoys the heck out of me is I'm at a store or something. I'm trying to get a hold of my wife <laughs> or she's trying to get a hold of me. And we have our, we always have our phones on silent. Well, she has her phone in the bedroom and she's out here in the kitchen. I can't get a hold of her. And I'm like, hello, hello. How many times have you texted that? Trying to get a hold of someone because you need... I don't ever miss anything because it's here. If she, I'm getting her one of these, whether she wants it or not, because I need to be able to get a hold of her. She goes, sometimes she'll go to the beach house for a week or two with the girls, and I have a question. Or if there's an emergency, if she needs to get a hold of me and I'm my phone's not around, 
This allows all of your communication to immediately come to you and you can decide whether you want to take it or not. The only thing that this watch can't do is take pictures. So I'll take my phone with me and put it in the UTV. And if I want, I do a lot of photography and video. And if I want to take a picture or a video, then I'll go grab my phone. But otherwise, I'm using this. I can leave my phone at my house and I can go off and drive off down to the local store, go to the gas station and just use my watch. You don't have to have your phone because it is, when you add it to the same number, it becomes basically a replication of this besides the camera. Now, the question, another question I get, are, will my apps work on this? Yes, the majority of your apps, a lot of your apps will work on this. So Blink, if you have Blink security cameras, boom, I get a notification and all of a sudden I see a little picture on there. It's from Blink and I see there's a security camera. Real Link, my Real Link cameras, same thing. Simply Safe Alarm System, Simply Safe Alarm System, your alarm has been triggered. Uh, all of your majority of your apps will actually, you can tie them into here, you can decide which apps. When you go into your app on your phone, when you go into your app on your phone, your iWatch app, you can decide what you want to do. You can decide which apps you want to actually no, do notifications. You can set up your face completely different. Let me give you an example. I'll try it anyways. On the watch, I have a bunch of different faces. So all I have to do is just touch that face, okay? Now what I want to do is I want to change that face. I just go ahead and I just slide. Look at that gorgeous guy right there. Can you see him? <laughs> so you can take an actual picture and have it as your as your face and then decide what goes on here. If you want to actually do something like a calendar, you can change the face and it'll be a calendar, whatever you want to do. The other thing is, is how do you access your apps? Okay, all you have to do is just push this once and you're gonna access all your apps. So like if I wanna to go to my compass, I just touch the compass, there's my compass, and it'll you do your compass. You go back to it, um, you just roll through, you're gonna see this little thing right here. You just roll through this little thing right here and you just go to wherever you want. So, uh, my heart rate's probably sky high right now because I've been walking around, but the beats per minute, It'll actually sit here and it'll measure the beats per minute. And I actually thought my beats per minute, my resting heart rate was kind of high, but it was about 80, which is actually pretty good for my age for 60. Right now I'm currently at 95. If I want to do an EKG, I could do an ECG, they actually call it. Now let's talk about the purchasing. I'm going to link to, I'm going to link through Amazon. And this is the 41 millimeter stainless version. They also make it in aluminum. It's about $100 more or $150 more for the stainless. And I don't know that I would actually pay that much more for the stainless over the aluminum. So I'll let you guys decide. It comes with a strap and you have to decide what strap you want. You can get the sort of sport one that just sort of flips around. You can get the rubber one. And when you get your strap, be advised of this, that get be prepared. You're going to have to measure your wrist and you're going to have to know your wrist measurement in centimeters. So you have to get a piece of string measure it out and know what that is in centimeters. Use your phone to convert it from inches to centimeters if you have to. I was right on the borderline and I got the smaller one, it was fine, but that didn't matter because I actually wanted to have a little more protection um, on my watch. So I'm gonna link to this band. You can buy as many bands as you want. They're real easy to swap out like in seconds. This one, you have to unscrew the face and put it in, but it offers a little bit more adds a little bit, see that little silver rail around it? It gives me a little protection because I'm always out here working and banging stuff. So it gives me a little protection on that face. And I really like this. This is a Velcro. And I actually ordered two of them because I know that this is gonna get nasty at some point. So in a couple of months, I'll probably change it out. And you just change out your bands. How do you charge this thing? So when you charge this thing, there's a little, there's a little round magnetic thing. <laughs> and you see that back right there? that just goes click and it rests on the counter or by your bed and it'll go into a night uh, night mode and so the night mode will actually show you it acts like a little clock it'll show you the time and whatever you want now I took my watch off what happens if someone steals this I took my watch off and you'll notice when I touch it it's gonna ask me for a four digit pin so no one can access my watch if someone were to steal this watch from me they have to know my pin before it'll work so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my watch on. I'm gonna touch this. I put in my pin. I put in my pin and I'm back up and running. There's a 41 millimeter, 45 millimeter, and an ultra. 
I don't want a laptop on my wrist, so I don't want an Ultra. I wanted it to look like a watch. Do I need a bigger face? I don't think so. I mean, I have to wear reading glasses and I can just about read everything that comes up. What about typing? Is it easy to type? No, it's very difficult to type. So I always do voice to text. I don't even try and type anymore because it's tiny. So all I do is if I get a text, I just touch it and I hit the little speaker and I go ahead and say, hey, um, I'm at the barn right now. I'll be back down to the house in a couple minutes and then double touch and then it'll send it. And that's how I respond. I will say that I literally thought these were the stupidest things in the world. I'd see people walking around with them and they'd be talking on them and I'd be like, dude, why? Why do you need that watch when you've already got a phone? Because even right now I'm trying to get it out of my pocket and I'm kneeling down, I'm doing work and I got a wrench in my hand and all of a sudden my phone starts ringing or I get a text. I got to stop what I'm doing, reach in my pocket, pull it out, I'm up on a ladder. All I got to do now is just go boop. If I want to look at it, I can look at it. If I want to answer it, I can answer it. If you want to mute the call, if you have your ringer on, all you have to do, if you get an incoming call on your phone and you want to mute that, you don't want to answer it, just cover it over, put your hand over it, and it'll actually shut it down. This is, this is an extreme powerhouse computer. You can use as many features on it or as little features on it you want it. You can use what you want and not what you want. One of the things I'm not going to do today is I'm not going to show you how to set this up because I found a girl that did a really good video on how to set up the watch and I'll put it on that page as well too. And it's pretty simple. All you have to do is when you turn it on, it'll say, bring your phone near your watch. It'll pair up and it'll give you, it's kind of one of these weird, globally weird image um, QR codes and you just scan it like this. And it'll probably tell you that you need to update your phone to iOS 17 or 17.1 or whatever it is. So you have to be able to upload 17.1. So if you, if you, and I think that's an iPhone X, which is a 10 or above, it shouldn't be a problem. So you are gonna have to update. When you get this, I couldn't sync the two of them properly without updating to iOS 17. Just, I'm just letting you know that because I went to sync it and I had to do that step process first. And then it's a real simple. Again, I'm gonna show you the, the, the Apple Watch. Here is my app. This is the actual app. So I can scroll through here and I can set whichever face that I want on here. Oh, he's good looking. Um, I can go through here, my notification settings. I've got my notification settings. The general settings, cellular, display and brightness, gestures, what happens, accessibility, sounds and haptics, passcodes, activity, um, the app store, blood oxygen, calendar, clock, contacts, find my iPhone. If you lose your iPhone, you can actually, you can actually use this to actually locate your, your iPhone and vice versa. Uh, your heart, mail, maps, messages. Uh, noise alert. <laughs> when I'm using the blower, I actually get a noise alert. It says loud noise alert. You're supposed to wear headphones. Uh, photos, sleeping tips, walkie talkie. You can use this as a walkie talkie, which is pretty cool. The workout, weather. Weather is, is good. I have an app on my phone that's, um, what's it called? I forget what it is. It's a rain alert. And I get an alert whenever there's precipitation within five miles. And I allow it to come to my watch and I get an alert anytime I got rain coming in. Rain alarm, that's what it is. It's right there, rain alarm. Bank, if you, and, and what you can do, it says available apps. So I've got Bank of America, ESPN, Lowe's, uh, mess, Facebook Messenger, Simply Safe. So I can install, choose to install these apps on my phone and they'll work with, and they'll work with my watch. Uh, again, I'm gonna put a link down below. Stainless versus aluminum. I don't know that the stainless is necessary and it'll save you, probably, I think it's at least $100. Um, the band, it'll come with a band, but I recommend that you go shopping for your bands. And when you order your bands, you have to order the same band as you bought your watch. So if you buy a 41 millimeter watch, which is this, this face of 41, you need to buy a watch band that's 41 millimeter and I'll link to them both. So you need to match those up. What else am I gonna cover on it? Dude, I'm just telling you, it's it's the greatest thing I've ever done uh, and I use it every single day and I'm constantly looking at it I would say probably 20 to 30 times a day that I'm not going to get my phone and not pulling it out It also has a fall alert in it. I don't know if I covered that or not So if I'm up in a, on a ladder if I'm up in a tree stand and my backpack is up there or something or My phone's up there while I'm working and I fall and break a hip and I'm lying there. What do I do? 
I'm going to sit there for probably six hours. I'm not, not with this thing. This is going to do a fall alert and it'll actually, you can set it up so that it automatically emergency notifies the, your, your emergency contacts. Again, if you were to slip and fall, help, I can't get up. This is great for grandparents. I'm telling you, dude, older people or people with health conditions. All you have to do is push and hold this side button and an SOS will come up and you can determine what you want to do. Do you want that to call 911 or do you want it to call out to your emergency notifications? I will tell you this, the good thing about setting this up and setting up my emergency contacts, my emergency address was set to three houses ago. <laughs> I, I, that's one good thing. You might want to go back and check that. I had no idea that I had never updated my emergency address. So I had to update my emergency. It was three houses ago, like 15, 20 years ago, was my emergency 911 contact address. I had no idea. Anyways, guys, I hope this video has helped. Go to the page. If you have any questions, more questions on it, pop the questions down below or go over to that page. There's a comment section there. Pop a comment down there and I'll do my best to answer it. We got so much going on. I'm so busy. Maybe once a day or every other day, I'll try and pop on here and answer your questions. Doc.